مادة إرشاد سياحي تطبيق الفرقة التالتة هنكمل الكولكشن بتاع توت عنخ آمون إن شاء الله وإحنا قلنا إن إحنا لما إن شاء الله نتكلم عن كولكشن توت عنخ آمون في الأول بندي باك جراوند هيستوريكال باك جراوند عن الملك وبعدين بنبدأ نتكلم عن الكولكشن أو بنبدأ نتكلم عن القطع الكولكشن بتاع توت عنخ آمون بعد كده تمام اوكي ناو ويل ستارت باست اوف توت عنخ آمون This past model of Tut Anh Amun is unique. Artifact carved in wood and smoothed with gesso and painted. Gesso is a preparation of plaster and glue used as surface for painting. Although the body has nominal details and is without arms, the face is an accurate portrait of the young king who wears a flat crown with cobra as we see here the king wearing the head the crown the flat crown with the cobra and the statue without arms but we can see a portrait or a face accurate face for the king chariot of tut anh amun The wheel was known in ancient Egypt from the Old Kingdom, but the horse-drawn chariot was introduced much later by the Hexes, who come to Egypt from Western Asian regions. The chariot was one of the main reasons for the Hexes' domination of Egypt this chariot is one of the of six chariots discovered in the antechamber of Tutankhamun's tomb the wheels are fixed to the axes and secured with leather thorns intended to be used in ceremonial processions and it was richly decorated with fine gilded motifs representing the king overcoming African and Asian enemies. The Egyptian chariot was usually drawn by two horses and driven by a driver, as shown in the war scenes on the walls of the temples. The next piece of the collection is the headdress of King Tutankh Amun. Headdresses were used in ancient Egypt and are still used in some African regions to protect the head of the sleeper and comfort the movement of air around the head in the hot summer nights. 
a soft pillow or a cushion would have made it more comfortable for the sleeper. The pillow holder of the headdress is made of ivory in dark green, red brown and black. The two sides of the headdress are decorated with the face of the god Pis, the god of joy and entertainment, on their outer surface, and lotus flower on the inner surface. You can see the decoration of the headdress of Tutankhamun from the outer surface. We can see the face or uh, decorated with the goddess, the face of the goddess, the god of joy and inter entertainment. And in the inner surface, we can see the lotus flower the, the legs of the headdress is decorated with the dog's head as we see here the next piece of the collection is the Canopic chest of two tank M. This alabaster canopic chest is considered to be one of the finest masterpieces of two tank Amun's collection. The interior of the chest is divided into four parts each with a cylinder hollow covered by a lid carved in the form of the king's head as we see here the chest is divided into four parts each with a cylinder hollow covered by a lid carved the form of the king's head at the four corners of the chest we can see that it is carved with high relief the lid of the chest was fixed to the chest with cords noted to gold rings and bore the official cover of the royal necropolis Within each part was a small gold mummy form coffin that held the king's protected internal organs. The lead was fixed to the chest with cords noted to the gold rings and bore the official cover of the royal necropolis within each part was small gold mummiform coffin that held the king's protected internal organs uh, so we finished our lecture for today and we, we, we will uh, continue our uh, collection
uh, in the next picture inshallah thank you